Well, good morning. It's Saturday, August 15th, 2020, the year of the Holocaust. I mean, no, uh, <laughs> the year of everything. Uh, it's 75 degrees, it's 647 in the morning. I'm gonna go meet Bob, possibly Norm, and uh, let's go wade around in the Wit River and poke around with the simplex and see what we can dig up. All right, second target, a Corona bottle cap. Got a case of the Rona. Third find is a crusty zinc in. Woohoo! And we get another penny. I can't tell the date on it. Not crusty, so might be pre-82. Or a fresh drop, who knows. I guess it was someone's sweet 16. I'll keep it. And we got another penny. It's pennies in the river. How about a rusty bottle cap? <laughs> I'll stop showing bottle caps. Let's just go for coins and other knickknacks. This one was hiding on me, but I got it. Another penny. All right, we got a quarter with a duck on it. So 2018. And, yeah, I can't read this date. Yay. We'll keep that. And we got another river penny. Yay. All right, so this river penny was mixed in with some other crap. I could hear it. Had to get the other crap out first. Woo. -hoo. How about a live dig with a lot of background noise? Okay, there's something right here. I have to apologize, you're mounted on my chest right now. There we go. There's that something. Another quarter. Yay! How about another live dig? Hi, stick. It's an 84, bounce between 80, 77 and 84. There where that quarter was at. I'm sorry if you're looking at the river and not the scoop yet. Look, another quarter. Yay! Two quarters in a row on two live digs in a row. And another rotten sink penny where all those quarters are at. Alright, after a little while we got a river penny. It does some weird big pieces of trash. Um, actually a good distance out in the river here. I'll show you. Yeah. There's Bob. But I am probably a good 25 yards from the shore right now. <laughs> so, this seems to be a good spot. This is where I'm finding all the quarters and whatnot. Plus, it feels cool out here. Hey, Bob. <laughs> All right, let's keep hunting. All right, I had a fight for that penny. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell it's a penny, but it's a penny. It's been in there for a while. All right, let's keep going. Hey, look, we got a car. And it's a Hot Wheels. It's full of sand, too. I'll take it. I had a fight for that one. All right, got ourselves a fishing lure. <laughs> and some string. That's a pretty one. But they were not too happy about losing that one. Well, it's one more beer can for the day. 
Actually, I might, yeah, it's a beer can. <laughs> Look, Ma, a river penny. That's another one. Woohoo! All right, so what my tactic is here, I'm doing trips up and downstream. Uh, when I'm going downstream, as you can see, it's hard to see through the water. I turn around, go up, point upstream, <clears throat> so I can dig my targets and toss my silt behind me. Oh boy, I'm getting deeper. <laughs> but so far it's working out pretty good. But I could say one thing, this is more of a workout than detecting on land. And because the uh, friction. Oh, by the way, I'm using the round coil today. Okay, the SP22 coil. Um, I've been loving the elliptical, but I figured this would be better for in the water. And so far it hasn't let me down. So that's the SP22. I've been getting really great depth and uh, good separation too. So you got a simplex. If you want some more coils, definitely get these two, the 22 and the 24. They're really, really good coils. So I'm gonna get back at it here. Here's an odd one for you. It's one of those Winchester something or others. <laughs> Out in the middle of the river. A lot of people hunt around here, but this is close to town. A lot of roll downhill. Uh, downriver. This place floods a lot uh, during the rainy season and this was a river oh a couple years back when the uh, Shasta Dam was a had some issues or Oroville Dam had some issues and I had to evacuate. Well the water here was <clears throat> almost to the top of the levees <laughs> with all that runoff. So this could have tumbled down the stream for a while. But it's an interesting one. All right, we'll throw it in a pouch. It's like up there on the beach, there's another person that wants a metal detect. I see a machine up against a tree, but he's just standing there. Drinking a drink. Looks like he's got a whites, but this upstream traffic is really, really tough. <laughs> Let's keep going. Well, it's been a while. Finally got another penny. <laughs> Started moving in inland a bit. It was uh, getting pretty deep and the current was getting swifter. All right, might take a break here for a little bit. Well, this is a 42. I'm not expecting much. I'm close to the shore now. Yeah, there we go. That's a 42. Whole can piece. Oh well. Alright. We got ourselves a nickel. I got a nickel. I got a nickel. It's a nickel. And a penny. Whew. Gonna be out here for another... Uh, 20 or so minutes. Beach is starting to get busy. So, almost time to go. And our friend over there is metal detecting too. Got an older bounty hunter. I wish him luck. Oh, we got another toy car. Mm -hmm. Little Dodge. Another Hot Wheels. Well, had that to collection. Had a fight for that penny. <laughs> kind of kneeling in the water now. Use my pinpointer. Feels kind of nice. All right, so my roundup by the river didn't work too well. Uh, the focus was doing something wacky. Uh, I didn't get Bob's stuff. 
I don't think Bob's going to get his stuff unless he gets his camera fixed. He might do a roundup at home. So check out his channel. He'll have his hunt up someday. <laughs> Whenever he gets a chance. But uh, yeah, this is all my gooders. Uh, I probably pulled out, I would say probably 10 or 15 aluminum cans out of the, out of the river. Only four bottle caps, a screw, and a chunk of aluminum and some weird dish looking thing. But that all went in the trash. Uh, you didn't want to see that. So let's look at this stuff, okay? Yeah. All right, there's our quick cleanup roundup. There is that lure. The fish is kind of backwards if he's hanging that way, but I guess he would have two hooks on him. I don't know. That wouldn't have been nice to step on. I'm glad I got that other river. Uh, we got that car. Got that bullet. It's a 270, uh, I'm guessing a 270 wind mag. It's pretty hefty. Uh, another car. Got two, four, six, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen pennies, three quarters, and a nickel. So, not a bad day at the river. Yeah, the last time, the last time I went to that river, I didn't do too well. Uh, but that was a few years ago, and I wasn't going in the water. I was just on the beach. And I ended up calling that bottle cap beach. And there's a lot of bottle caps on the beach. Uh, there was the other gentleman there. He was metal detecting with a, just a generic metal detector. Uh, he got a few pennies and a lot of bottle caps. But Bob did pretty good. He, he got quite a few pennies, or some coins. He got a lot of bling jewelry. Uh, he got a lot of bottle caps. I mean, he... I probably didn't find bottle caps because he cleaned all the bottle caps, but that's why he's bottle cap Bob. <laughs> so, anyways, it was great uh, getting out of the river. It's been hot here. That's why you haven't seen me too much. And when I mean hot, it's been in the triple digits for the last week and a half. And it looks like it's going to be like that for another week and a half. Uh, so, uh, we'll try to get out to the Relic Place sometime soon, I hope. If I get out there, I'm going to have to get out there at daybreak so I can at least get a couple hours of detecting in because it's going to get hot real quick. Like today, it got hot real quick. And then the beach got busy. So, anyways, thanks for watching. You all have a great day. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe. And bye for now.